What's up everybody, my name is Daniel Inhart, welcome back on my YouTube channel. I've been talking to a few OneCoin victims and actually the question they are having on their mind is why is it that some OneCoin promoters are still promoting OneCoin in 2022, in 2023, despite the fact that actually OneCoin is an official scam everywhere. That actually Dr. Ruja Ignatova, the founder of OneCoin, is right now on the top 10 most wanted list of the FBI. Why is it that even up to now, OneCoin promoters are actually still promoting the same scam? So many have been arrested. Actually, over 200 OneCoin promoters have been arrested worldwide. But still, the scam is going on. But still, the scam is actually rebranding into a new thing. And actually, it is still in promotion. And when I actually sat down, I happened to realize that actually these top leaders they actually know what they are promoting. I'm very sure that every one coin promoter right now, he knows that he is promoting a scam, but the greed for power, the greed for money, the greed um, uh, uh, to have and accumulate hundreds and thousands of US dollars on their bank accounts is actually what is pushing them because... We all know that OneCoin does not have a blockchain. If it does, please, you can, you can show the proof. You can show us the proof to, to, to the comment section. You can, you can put that proof in the comment section so that actually people can read. But otherwise, everybody knows that OneCoin does not have a blockchain. Everybody that knows that OneCoin didn't have anything like a technology, OneCoin did not have anything like a vision. If they had they would have an infrastructure anywhere, anywhere. Maybe an ATM card for one coin, maybe a MasterCard for one coin, maybe a simple exchange for one coin. Remember those early days? I used to ask you a question like, okay, one coin was a multi-million dollar company. You know, it, it was worth thousands and millions of US dollars, but they could not afford to construct a cryptocurrency exchange that does not even require 50,000 US dollars to be constructed. Yes, for you to open up a cryptocurrency exchange, you, don't, you do not need to pay developers over 50,000 US dollars, which means that it actually costs less. And I was always asking myself, you are worth thousands and thousands and thousands of US dollars, actually millions of US dollars, but you cannot construct a single exchange and we waited for seven years, for seven years, for God's sake. It, it, it was insane, which means that actually these people know what they are promoting personally. According to my experience over the three years I've spent uh, exposing scammers and studying how scams work, they are only promoting the MLM. When you look at their entire structure, the only thing they are talking about is team, lead, is, is team leadership, having a team, making commissions, becoming a lead in your country, and actually enjoying the commissions. They are not talking anything about crypto. They are not talking anything about future of payments. They are not talking anything about a blockchain, this blockchain, this blockchain, this exchange, this, partnership, uh, part, partnering up with this. They are not saying anything regarding that. The only focus is on making money through MLM, becoming a lead in your um, country, and things to do with that. So personally, I think that all one coin promoters in 2022, 2023, they know what they are Yes, they do. Um, well, I've also been trying to think about if you made, um, let's say, one million US dollars through promoting one coin and you are arrested for seven years or five years or six years. Okay, let's say that you actually make, <laughs> let's say that you actually make 10 US dollars. Let's say that you actually make 10 US dollars from uh, uh, promoting one coin and all that stuff, MLM leadership, blah, 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 blah. And you actually get arrested for seven years and you had your money hidden somewhere and maybe Bitcoin or any other decentralized cryptocurrency, would you actually lose that money? 
Would your family not use that money? So I think that maybe some top leaders in one coin actually realize that you can actually hide your money in Bitcoins even after being imprisoned and nobody will actually touch your money. You will be able to, to, to actually influence people in inside inside the prisons, you know, those VIP prison rooms, VIP access, you know, those private rooms that they give people with, with money, with the television, with a, a carpet down, okay, not a carpet, well, tiles, uh, with the bathroom, with the toilet, with, the, with newspapers, so they can watch TV, they can read the newspapers, they can actually work out, um, they can maybe eat some good food, yes, so maybe... Those people are actually calculating that if I get imprisoned for seven years and after that I come out with my 10 million US dollars, maybe my family or my lawyer is actually handling business when I'm in the prison. Maybe it works for me. Because I'm asking myself, like, your CEO is on is on the top most wanted list and you're still promoting the same scam, same promises and same everything. Maybe it's a calculation that even after I'm imprisoned, I already have my wealth, I already have my money, it's hidden in Bitcoin, it cannot be tracked, it cannot be uh, uh, blocked, it cannot be confiscated by the government or authorities. I can still come up with this money after seven years or five years or ten years and I actually become a very rich person and an important imp person in the society. Maybe that's what they are looking for because I'm asking myself and I... I do not get it clearly. And when you look at, uh, at it clearly, somebody with Bitcoins, you know, all the commissions you're getting off one coins, all the sales you're getting off one coins and you just buy your Bitcoins or whatever, say, whatever decentralized cryptocurrency you choose, maybe it's a way to go. Maybe that's what they are looking for. But that aside, everybody watching this video, if you've been thinking about investing in one coin, if you invested in one coin, if you had an idea of introducing your, your friend to one coin, it is a scam. And we've been on this for over three years, for over five years. I've had friends who have been doing this since 2015, fighting this scam. And anyway. My name is Daniel. Bye for now. Let me see you soon. Thanks, my patron. Thanks, my patrons. Jim McAdam, Jamie Bartlett, Mr. Kickwood, and Mr. Dave Smith. I love you. Bye.